The Last of Us star Annie Wershing has tragically died aged 45, her husband, Stephen Fole, has announced. The actress, who has appeared in shows like 24, Bush and Timeless, died following a cancer battle. Her husband Stephen confirmed the sad news today in a heartbreaking statement. There is a cavernous hole in the soul of this family today, he wrote. But she left us the tools to fill it. She found wonder in the simplest moment. She didn't require music to dance. She taught us not to wait for adventure to find you, he continued. Go find it. It's everywhere. And find it we shall. As I drove our boys, the true loves of her life, down the winding driveway and street, she would yell by, until we were out of earshot and into the world. I can still hear it ringing. By my buddy. I love you little family. Annie is survived by her husband and children Freddy, 12, Ozzy, and Archie, 4. The director and producer of 24, John Kassar, also paid tribute to the late actress, as reported by Deadline. My heart is broken in more pieces than I can count, he said. And he came into my world with an open heart and a contagious smile. Brandishing such talent, she took my breath away, he continued. Annie became more than a workmate, she became a real friend to me, my family and every cast and crew member that worked with her. Dot she'll be truly missed by them and the fans she always found time to interact with. Annie you'll be missed, you left your mark, and we're all the better for it. The American actress was well known for her regular role as Renee Walker in 24, where she starred opposite Kiefer Sutherland. She also performed motion capture and voice work for the character of Tess in Naughty Dog's video game The Last of Us. Her most recent credits are in Star Trek, The Card, where she starred as Borg Queen and in The Rookie, where she portrayed Rosalind Dyer. Annie was born and raised in Street. Louie by her parents Sandy and Frank and has a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in musical theatre from Millican University. A GoFundMe has been launched to support her family at this difficult time, 